Penile Implant Surgery, your questions and answers. Brought to you by FixedED, www.fixedED.net.au. Erectile dysfunction is symptomatic usually of vascular disease. So the message to men and general practitioners is that we mustn't just go straight to treating erectile dysfunction with medication. This is an opportunity to intervene in a positive way in terms of male health. The Massachusetts Male Aging Study was a large epidemiological study in the United States. The message from this study was that a man in his fourth and fifth decade with a soft erection is highly likely to suffer a vascular calamity such as a stroke or a heart attack over a five year period unless he modifies his vascular risk factors. So when a man presents to his general practitioner with erectile dysfunction, the, the message is don't just reach for the PDE5 inhibitor, the Cialis or the Viagra, but rather address the issue of male health. Work with the man to address his vascular risk factors and then, as necessary, introduce PDE5 inhibitors if uh, lifestyle modification doesn't return erectile function to normal. Treating erectile dysfunction successfully is very important. Many men take some years before presenting to their doctor for help. It takes courage, they're embarrassed, they feel inadequate. So when the man finally does come seeking help, it's important that the treatment is successful. It's important that we say to a man, we're going to start with simple treatments, such as modifying your risk factors, getting you to exercise, lose weight, control diabetes. If that doesn't work, we're going to introduce pills, such as Cialis or Viagra, in medical terms, these are known as PDE5 inhibitors. And what they do is they increase blood flow into the penis. Now, some men can't take these medications because they have a serious heart condition. For these men, we'll introduce them to penile injection therapy. This is where a trained nurse is um, important in teaching a man how to self-inject five minutes before sex. And the man is injecting, once again, vasodilator drugs that open up the arteries in the penis. Now, some men don't like taking PDE5 inhibitor pills, they don't like injecting, all those treatments don't work. And therefore, they seek a permanent surgical solution. Penile prosthetic surgery is a highly successful way of permanently treating erectile dysfunction. This is an operation that involves a 24-hour admission to hospital, a small scrotal incision, and the insertion of an inflatable device. This is just like any prosthesis, such as a knee or a heart valve. It is totally implanted within the body, if anybody saw the patient, they would not know that the body contained the prosthesis, and yet it restores function to normal. Penile Implant Surgery, your questions and answers, brought to you by FixedED, www.fixedED.net.au.